What's happening ladies and gentlemen, this is Min from Architecture Inspirations. Today I'm going to show you how to create fire in V-Ray 3.6 for SketchUp. Let's get started. So here I have a model of a cabin in the forest that I've been working on for my members on Patreon. I wanted to create a night scene with a fire pit on the exterior that light up the model like this. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I created that effect. Here is the fire pit that I used in the model. As you can see, it rendered quite nicely. Now I'm going to change the time of day here to switch it to a night time. Then I'm going to create a box around my fire pit like this and delete one of the faces so I can look through it. This box is to let me see how the fire affects the surrounding environment later. Now we need to add a light. I'm going to use this only light here and add it right on top of these firewoods. Then I can open up the asset editor, go to the light tab, and increase the intensity here. But first, I will change the decay type to inverse. And now I can increase the intensity to 3000 and change the shadow radius to 100 so the shadows will be softer. Next, I'm going to click here and enter these values so the light will be more of an orange color. Now we need to find some images of flames. I just use textures.com, go to the effects section, fire, flames, and here you have a lot to choose from. Just download a couple of them like I did here. Next we need to turn these into PNGs with transparent backgrounds. So I will open one up in Photoshop. Now I can alt and left click, then drag the image up like so to make a copy. Then I will press Ctrl Shift U to desaturate the image. Now I will press Ctrl L to bring up the levels and adjust the sliders like so. Next I press Ctrl A to select all and Ctrl C to copy this image and turn this layer off. Go to the original image and click here to add a layer mask. Then Alt and left click the layer mask to isolate it. Now you can press Ctrl V to paste the new image here. Now click on the original image. There we go, it looks transparent now. Now I can go up here and export it as a PNG. Let's go back to SketchUp. Go to File, Import, and we're going to import the PNG as an image. Next, we need to rotate it like so, then right click and explode it. Then we need to make this a component. I'm going to click here, then set the axis at the bottom center of the flame like this. Then I'm going to check this always face camera box and click create. There we go. You can see that wherever the camera moves, the image is always facing it. This is called a face me component. Now I'm going to place it on top of the fire pit, then bring it down a little. There we go. Looks good. Let's do a test render. As you can see, the flames look really dark. So let's open up the asset editor and find that texture. I will name it as flame 1 to make it easy to remember. Then go to the quick settings tab and change the type to emissive. Next, move the transparency slider all the way to the right. And we also need to uncheck this color opacity box here. There you go. Now I can change the intensity here to make it brighter. 30 is too bright, so I would change it to 2. Looks good. Now let's move the camera over here. As you can see, the flames looks really flat. But if we stop the render and start it again, then it looks correct. Pretty cool, huh? Now just use this workflow to add more flames texture. Just use Photoshop and turn them into PNGs. Then import them into the model. Rotate them. Turn them into face me components. Then place them in the fire pit. You don't have to line it up perfectly with the first texture. You can offset the three textures like this. Now I can use the previous workflow to edit these new materials like so. After that, run the interactive render. And now you can change how the fire looks by positioning the individual flame texture like so. Now if I go to a different point of view and re-render it, you can see that the look of the fire is completely different. And as you can see, having three different flames texture just makes the fire a lot more dynamic. Once I'm happy with this, I can now group them and bring this into my main SketchUp model. There you go. That's how you can create fire in v 3.6 for SketchUp. If you want to get this model, sign up on my Patreon before the end of the month 
which is May 31st, to get all the files for $5. Otherwise, you can get them on Gumroad, but it will be for $15 instead. And that is all for today, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Comment below if you have any questions. Stay inspired, guys, and I'll see you next time.